Hey, this is Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to use checkboxes to hide an entire row in Excel. So let's say I've got a data table here, and I've got some checkboxes, so if, let's say if they're checked, I want to keep them displayed, and if they're unchecked, I want to hide them. Well, I've wrote, written a macro here that will do just that. So anything that's checked will stay visible, and anything not, well, I'll end up hiding. So how did I go about making this? Well, first, uh, how do you insert a checkbox into Excel? Go to the Developer tab, Insert, and there's two options here. You can do Checkbox Form Control or uh, Checkbox Active Edge Control. So for this example, I'm going to do the Checkbox Form Control. So I check that and uh, insert it here. So the reason I'm using the form control is so that I can link it to a cell. So if I go here, I should be able to uh, tell it to link to B6. So there's nothing there now. If I check this true, uncheck false. True, false. Okay, so now macro. I'm stepping back over here. So there's two parts to this macro. The first hides the checkboxes if they are not checked. And then the second will hide the rows of the spreadsheet. So here's the part of the code that hides the checkboxes. And down here is the part that hides the rows. So you kind of have to do these separately. And then this will sh show you why I use the, the form control checkbox. So in the active sheet, we are looking for all the shapes. And then what, what type of shape? We want the form control shape. So that way, if, uh, and then what type of form control type is the checkbox. So then after it finds all the checkbox, it's basically through this, uh, this loop through each one. And it says, if the value is one, then keep it visible. So if it's if it's checked, keep the checkbox visible. Otherwise, if it's false or if it's not one, if it's not one is false, which means it's unchecked. So then we want to hide it. So visibility false. So that hides the checkboxes. So then now the reason I use the form control checkbox is because you can assign. This a cell value to the checkbox. So here I have my basically helper column. So, like on your actual database, you could hide that sheet or hide that column. Wait, let's unhide it. So basically, the hiding of the rows is based on the value in column B. So if we look at the code, first I'm saying. Uh, I can, I'm defining which rows uh, I want to hide. So the first one would be two. Since my spreadsheet has headers, that's row one. So I want to begin in row two, and my data only goes to, let's say, row five. Or I can change this to row six or whatever. And then the column to check is column B, so column two. So it's going to go through each of these, start at two, and then loop through each one all the way up to six. And it's going to look in that column B, and so... so if the value is false, then it's going to hide the entire row. So hidden is true. So just like that, it loops. First, it loops through all the shapes and hides the checkboxes. Then it loops through all the rows and uh, hides the rows based on the condition. Uh, so what I basically did was I can add a command button here. So for de developer insert uh, button. And I can link it to hide checkboxes. So then when I click it, it hides all the checkboxes. So if I check that one, it should also stay. So then I, you can see I also have the reset code. So after you hide everything, well, how do you unhide it? Um, so I actually made the code that basically is the exact same thing. It's just uh, instead of some trues up here, we got some falses in order to unhide everything. 
hidden equal false. So that's all there is to it.